Well, Oklahoma leaders passed the biggest one-day tax cut in state history this week, the grocery tax. Lawmakers say it'll be helpful for every citizen. They explain what cuts could be next in this morning's Your Vote Counts. And good morning and welcome to Your Vote Counts. I'm Scott Mitchell, Leader John Eccles, Jason Dunnington, and we've been talking about the grocery, the portion of the state's portion of the grocery tax cut for months and months and months. It finally got done. Governor signed it. Your thoughts? Yeah, well, I wish I could say we've been talking about for months and months, but uh, we started talking about cutting the state's portion of the grocery tax when I first got elected 10 years ago. This has been ongoing for a very long time. Um, it's interesting to hear members talk about it now that the governor signed it, um, that it wasn't everyone's favorite tax, but I think the reason for that is because of the price tag on it. It was one of the larger price tag items when it comes to tax cuts. But let me tell you this at home, it was the best tax cut for you, the citizens. Of all the tax cuts that could have been done, this one uh, is going to help you and your family the most. It was the right one to do, and I'm happy to see it done. Hey, I stand corrected, but it's not months and months. I went back, was looking at the archives, back to when Richard Morissette mm -hmm. was talking about this many, many years ago. And it got done, the House got it through, the Senate took it up, the governor signed it, and now your thoughts. Couldn't be more proud that we were able to get this done. You know, I took over as floor leader during the budget crisis and the teacher walkout. When I became floor leader, we had $2 in the state savings account. Through, through uh, those eight years, we now have record savings, record revenue, and we were able to give that money back to the citizens of the state of Oklahoma. It's going to be about August, but the state portion of this grocery sales tax is going away. It's something we've been fighting for on this show, and the great thing about it is it doesn't matter who gets the credit. The House did it, the Senate did it, the governor did it, but you, the citizens, you get the benefit. One of the most important things we were able to do during my time, and I'm very proud of it. If Democrats were on board this deal, it was interesting. Okay, so naturally the question would be, what's next? House still wants an income tax cut, so does the governor, but what realistically could happen next? Yeah, so it's hard to follow up the single largest tax cut in the history of the state of Oklahoma, which is what getting rid of the grocery tax was. That was the single largest one-day tax cut in the history of the state. I still think there's money to put us on a path to zero in the income tax. Now that's a long path. That's going to take a while. I wish we would move forward with some type of an income tax. I've said on this show, I would accept a sunset. I'd prefer not to have one, but would happily accept it. The key is it's your money, citizens. It's not the state's. But I think the negotiations are going to tamp down a little bit now that we've been able to get a big one through and it can be more methodical as we go through the process. Methodical and tamped down, that's interesting. <laughs> Your thoughts about where this might go to? Yeah, I, uh, I would agree uh, with my colleague. I think that things will slow down here a bit when it comes to negotiation and any more tax cuts. Board of Equalization is looking at this. Um, because it goes into effect in August, um, or at the beginning of September, you'll have two months uh, on the new budget year where it won't be collected, so it'll be a little bit, um, of uh, some moving numbers from one page to the other. I don't think that we're gonna see another tax cut this year uh, because of the size of this. I mean, we're talking about nearly $400 million that will come out of the budget for the grocery tax. But if there is leftover money, I do still think that there's room to do a rebate, which we've talked about on this show, and it would help for inflationary purposes. Well, you know about rebates, being kind of the godfather of that film rebate. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see where that goes. And when we come back, some dominoes are falling as a result of the, an AG opinion. We'll discuss it when we come back.